my way in the car. My reporting time is literally in 15 minutes. Feelings right now. Nervous, tired, hungry, thirsty, but excited. <laughs> I think I'm more nervous about the recovery than the actual surgery process because I've been under before and it seems to be okay. I'm tired. Also, can I just say happy International Women's Day to all my badass ladies out there. You guys make your own decisions based on your own choices and don't let anybody tell you what to do because at the end of the day, it is your life and you get to control your destiny. Bathroom slash locker room and this is where the prep is. I have to do a little urine sample here, put a gown on with the open back, underwear, socks. We have also compression tights as well. This is what we are doing. We have a breast augmentation next. We're going to be using high profile regular silicone implants through an areolar incision to get her a nice full look. Keller funnel effect, which actually reduces the chances of capsular contracture, along with using a lot of antibacterial soap and methods like changing his gloves multiple times during the procedure. To plan for in, we ended up placing uh, 265 on the right, 295 cc's on the left. They're high profile implants. Once they drop and the skin stretches, they're going to look a lot more natural. I just finished my breast augmentation and I'm really excited to feel like a woman. <laughs> I crack myself up. Yeah, I'm really happy because I've just had small tits my entire life, so, you know. <laughs> I took some profile pictures and mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Hi. This is the man that will be taking care of me. He's so sweet. He doesn't like that he's here, but I love him so much because he's like my personal nurse for the week. And he's literally massaging me right now because I actually may be getting stressed from the surgery when it's hurting a lot. Babe, can I have some more water? What's that? Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Hi, guys. So it's day two. And I can walk, which is amazing. So it's really not that bad. I can't lift up anything past my forearms, but I can move my forearms, which is great. And I look like shit because you can't shower for three days. I'm really glad that I got the surgery here because I would not want to walk around in New York in 20 degree weather like this. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm gonna really more like walking next to my boyfriend going grocery shopping. We're gonna get some Arnica to help reduce the swelling. It's a good natural supplement that helps with swelling so I definitely want to add that to my diet and I don't want anything inflaming my body right now. Yeah and I'm on pain meds and you can obviously see that I'm freaking fine so I think it's really great. Yay! Hey guys so just an update I'm feeling a lot better. I'm actually on pain meds and I don't feel nauseous or loopy at all. So I think I'm bionic, but my boobs are definitely super sore and more sore than yesterday. The second and third day are definitely the most sorest, but I was able to walk around as you saw in my previous video, like a dum-dum. I'm so glad I could still be walking. In terms of using my arms, I can only use my forearms and for things less than five pounds. So like my phone, I was able to open the sink today, which was really good. I still can't flush the toilet because it's like a push button. So I've had to pee like five times in the middle of the night and my boyfriend had to help me like go to the bathroom all the time. So I felt bad for that. He's an angel, so yay. And thank you to everyone who has been supportive so far. I have received a number of hater comments. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to show women that they have the power to choose whatever makes them happy. I'm not saying you should hate yourself for looking a certain way or wanting to do certain things even though you don't like have them. But it's your choice if you want it to change and it's totally up to you. And that's the whole empowering point of the message that I'm getting this boob job for. Okay, so it's day two and I can actually eat by myself now without my boyfriend helping me. I can't bend down much, 
what I can do is pick up a spoon and then like carry it with the napkin to make sure I don't spill it over. But I can eat now like by myself. Ha 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 ha. I can't really, my range of motion, I can't go backwards, but I can push things forward, but I shouldn't be pulling anything, like including car doors, refrigerator doors, slamming my laptop, throwing cheese. I don't know why I said throwing cheese, I think because I'm eating charcuterie. So it's currently 7.36 in the morning. Um, my nights have been uh, crazy, sleeping really early, waking up really early, um, knocked out from Vicodin. But yesterday was definitely the worst day I've had. They say day two is the worst. Oh my God. I felt like my boobs were on fire and they were gonna fall out. So since the pain meds weren't always great, I looked up some natural supplements. I to take those and eat some really nutritious food that's good for reducing swelling and pain. So day three is also pretty bad. Uh, but yesterday I came home crying, it was like, the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Um, very comparable to the amount of pain of like the arthritis in my knees and my back pain. But this is a lot worse. It feels like more traumatic in that it's like surface surgery pain. But wish me luck. We're almost there. At least I have my dinosaur Pusheen who's like super cute that I bought the day before my surgery. And I'm so happy because she has been keeping me company. Isn't she so cute? And look, I just showered. AK, my boyfriend just helped me shower. By the way, teaching a man how to <laughs> bathe a woman is very difficult, but he did it and he's a trooper. All right guys, I'm super happy because it's day four and look, I put my makeup on. And then according to my partner, he said it took about the same time as when I like I'm not injured. So I'm very happy about that. Okay guys, I'm here at my follow up for six days. It's supposed to be a week, but I'm here a little bit early because I gotta go home to New York. But this is the amazing surgeon, Dr. Kim. Hi guys. And he's been absolutely amazing. I've literally only had pain on like day two, which was like really bad. That's it. And it's a miracle that I'm even like standing here and doing my thing, dancing. No, you're doing great. <laughs> you know, you handled it like a champ. So I, I expect your recovery to be really smooth. We'll do all of our follow-ups over email. Which okay. Is like the easiest way, right? So you'll send photos. I'll let you know what you can and can't do. Mm -hmm. And then obviously if you're ever in town, I would love to see you back again. Yeah, I'm actually persuading my boyfriend to move out here. So we'll see what happens. Sweet. And then I'll see you more. Okay, okay sounds thank good. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Bye.